welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a lot of fun and that's all I can really say about it. So I woke up this morning in Rock Island, Illinois, which is a beautiful town along the Mississippi River, along the Iowa and Illinois state border lines. And I have to say, it is so cool in this area and there are so many antique stores. I'm so excited to get on the road today and check them all out. Now I did wake up this morning in a beautiful bed and breakfast inside a gorgeous old Victorian home built in 1888 and it is appropriately called the Victorian Inn and Suites and I have to say it was so darling to stay here. It was just full of true antiques and the owners are so sweet and so kind and breakfast was so delicious. Now, if you're new here, really quick, my name is Ashley. I both collect and resell vintage goods and antiques. I do a ton of shop with me vlogs and videos here on YouTube. So if you love antiques, vintage goods, and shop with me videos, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below to join both the family and the fun. Today, we are hitting the road and we are checking out the area. We are I am super sad to say goodbye to this gorgeous bed and breakfast, but we have a ton of treasure picking to do today. So be sure to hit that big, beautiful thumbs up button down below if you haven't already. And let's go hit the road. I told you I had high hopes. Even if we're not making a mill, we found an owl. Now, let's see how much he is. <laughs> he's only $5.99. Are you kidding me? He's coming home with me. He's like, no questions about it. Mr. Owl. Oh, I love it so much. What a happy moment. Alrighty, so for any new viewers out there and um, for the faithful viewers that have already watched me a thousand times, you already know by now, I love the macrame owls. So for anyone wondering what's with the owls, this is what's with the owls. I completely tackied out my front room with them. I absolutely love to pick these guys up wherever I go. I think they make for really cool and unique souvenirs. One fell off the wall, super cool. But yeah, that's what I do. I love macrame owls, so I was super excited to find this one. All right, back to the video. Then they got like a bunch of brass over here. Uh, really fancy candlestick holder there. It's got really nice weight to it actually. And it is $6.99. You know what? I'm liking this vendor. They got a whole bunch of brass. They got a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Ooh, what's this? Looks like treasure craft. $4 for that. That's actually so cute. For like apple slices and dipping sauce. Ooh, looks like booty cheeks. If you look on the back there, it does say treasure craft. So the more you know. $4, that's actually a really good price. I found me my new vlogging camera. <laughs> wow. This is old school cool for sure. $8, huh? Alrighty, I don't know why I jinxed myself. I said I had high hopes for the place and I mean, I'm not bashing it just yet, but it's giving me some very uh, indoor flea market type vibes. Uh, not a whole lot of antiques, but just a lot more like thrift store. 
you know, kind of moments. Ooh, oh, right as I say that though, we do see some hens. Unfortunately, these are two of the like three most common colors we see. I do like these Delfta little guys though. How cute, am I saying that right? Probably not. $10, that's really not bad. Oh, Delft, I said that right. That is so cute. I do love this color. I'm just beating things up in here. <laughs> but, oh, look at this cutie. This little vase, if you will. Huh. Okay, well, for those milk glass lovers, they got you covered. And they do have two Indiana glass hen on nests. And, oh, wow, do I see? Oh, I gotta squeeze in here. All right, I gotta squeeze in here. Here's a little $2 guy. Really cute, but, oh, is he chipped? Yeah, he's chipped. Well, dang, okay. Oh, so I was just huffing and puffing about this place. I'm like, it's not an antique store. Let's be honest, like, let's look around. It's an indoor uh, thrifted flea market, kind of. But I found this little macrame owl on my way out. It's gray. I love grays, whites, and blacks. You guys have heard me say this like a thousand times on my channel recently. And he's $20. Only $20. He doesn't look vintage by any means. And considering that looking around this booth, it looks like this vendor makes some things. It's a, it's a modern piece. She probably made it. But it's cute. So we gonna take him home. And I'll probably replace his little branch with like a, not just a simple dowel. We'll give him some character. So yay, he's adorable and he matches my sweater. All right, let's go. Well, folks, I know this is probably the most jaw-dropping thrift haul you've ever seen, but I acquired two brass pieces and two macrame owls. I know, I know. Your girl has skill like no other. Please, no jealousy needed. y'all so after much um trial and error today we have landed in dyersville iowa at the plaza antique mall now today has just been a flop and like a, such a mess of um not very successful antiquing but this place does look promising it's huge we drove about an hour and a half from rock island to get here and literally right next to it is the American Farm Toy Museum right there yonder. So, it's crusty, it's rusty, and hopefully dusty because I love the good old rusty, crusty antique mall. Let's do this. Ooh, now this place is big, 50,000 square feet. It should be fun. Hi. Wow, oh wow, yeah, they got a lot to see. Y'all, I couldn't even make it past <laughs> the first aisle without finding something I love. Look at that necklace. Oh my gosh. Shiny, shimmery, splendor. And it's 50% off. Let's look at it. Well, she's definitely very sparkly. I just don't know how true to vintage it is. Oh, that's not a bad price though. All right, we're gonna skip past all the glass cases really quick and I found a rustic booth. Y'all know I love my rustic primitives right now. Look what I just found, it is so darling. We're gonna carefully try not to break it. <laughs> Why they do that to me? Anyway, so this appears to be an original charcoal painting for just $22. I think it is so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and then take a look at the back. 
Now, judging by the back, this is definitely old. They used uh, staples in more modern times. So if you're trying to decipher if you're like painting work of art is old or not, always look for like nails. When they use nails versus staples, you can see right there, they use nails to keep this in the frame. So, wow, I really love my hand painted scenes. So I'm gonna think on this, but check it. Fellas, look at this place. In Incredible. I don't even know what to look at first, truthfully. And look at it, it looks like the whole entire upstairs is toy land extravaganza. Alrighty, allow me to just confirm that. So I did indeed run upstairs and it was absolute model car heaven. Fellas, if you collect this stuff, here it is. Alright. I'm getting a little excited because there's something in this cabinet that is pretty rare in the hen on nest collector's realm. Now this beauty appears to be a Staffordshire hen on nest. Now these are bisque, not glass, like most hen on nests, but this one's only $32. This can easily fetch at least like 80 on eBay. It's one of those moments where the seller just don't know what they have, and uh, I'll take advantage of that. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Okay. Happy! Now, we just took the hens from right there, and literally kitty corner to them is this awesome Hager Greyhound. I am not personally a Hager collector, though I know there are a lot of you out there that like these. This Greyhound is a pretty uh, classic example of Hager. They're asking $78 for it. He's a beauty. I'm kind of drawn to this though, myself. This carved uh, horn for $45. A lot of details in that guy. Look at him. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I even like this bowl. This bowl's nice too. Let's $44. Talk about that bowl. And actually, before we leave the area, here we go. I do love this piece of pottery. I gotta say this uh lovely erotic lady here is really stealing the show <laughs> it kind of looks a little perverse but they're only asking 48 for this and i think that is honestly a really cool a uh, statement piece and a pretty fair price for something like that i mean you're not gonna find that in walmart or target so i don't know i might have to get her so i found another little something that a lot of people probably, if they didn't know any better, they would walk right on by not knowing they can make a decent profit off of it. So this beautiful graniteware coffee pot right here, they're only asking $24 for this. Now in one of my recent videos, I did talk about graniteware coffee pots and how the color of them really affects their value and price. Now this is a very rare color. You don't see it too often. This could fetch 80 and up on eBay. So um, for $24, we gonna grab her. She coming home with me. That's that. All right, well, hello my loves, and welcome to July. So this video was filmed in March, and I am unfortunately going to cut it off here because I have to be honest with you, I just was not enjoying 
editing it and it was just something nagging at me and so I just want to be done with this vlog and move forward. My cameraman and I have since split up since this video. It has been months now and I feel like I've just been I'm not putting out videos because I've been trying to play catch up with all of these old vlogs I filmed and I'm just not enjoying them. So I'm being transparent and real with you and I just don't want to put out content that I don't love. So I am very sorry to anybody that I let down, but I'm cutting off this vlog here for now and I'm just going to start new. I'm going to start fresh and we're going to have better videos. We're going to have a good time and it's, it's all going to be good. But I didn't want to totally scrap this vlog. I felt like the bed and breakfast was so stinking adorable and I just, I loved it. So I wanted to still share, you know, bits and pieces with you guys. Anyways though, um, because of the disappointment, I would like to um, offer you guys a little something, something. It's just a little something, something. Free pads, ladies. Get your pads right here. So um, if you tripped it out to the very end of this video, you can see here that we have some of my very first merch being released. Now I am wearing some merch here and tote bags are soon to come, but I want to offer you guys some mouse pads. Now I love these. They're very high quality. They're thick. They're nice. Um, they're, I've spilt tea on mine personally like twice and it just came right off. Like these have been amazing. So I'm going to offer them. For you, if you shop on my website, ashyroseantiques.com, I have two designs available. I have the cat design here and I have the dog design here. So if you shop from either the Kitchy Cat or Pampered Pooch collection, you will get $5 off and a free pad. Ladies, actually this is my first merch release to the public. These mouse pads here, dog or cat, depending on which collection you shop from is what you'll get. Now, again, the discount code will be mousepad5. It's all one word. I'll put it right here down below and you'll get $5 off your order and some free merch. So that's that. <laughs> now, so much has changed since I filmed this video and I, I really appreciate your guys' patience with me. I definitely took a social media break, but it's something I needed to do, something I wanted to do. And I feel better, so I'm ready to come back and make some better content for you guys. So yeah, we have that to look forward to. And that's that. All right, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next upload more regularly and super soon. Love you so much. Bye.